Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am out here working on the four-wheeler. I got my motor and I'm ready to get it mounted to the bike. I've done some preliminary, just sticking it on there, seeing what I've got to tweak. There's a part of the frame on the four-wheeler I've got to move so that it's in the bike a little bit and I've got to find a way to adapt it from the motor spline to the shaft drive because I want to keep the shaft drive because they're quieter than chains. Um, and I don't know, I didn't want to have to replace the axle. So I'm going to take that off. I'm gonna, first, I'm going to start with taking the wheels off and then I'm going to put it up on my workbench so it's easier to get at. Um, and for that, I've recruited some help. All right, first obstacle is I knew which motor I wanted, which is this one. This is the 3000 watt QS138-C mid-drive motor with internal gear reduction. It'll take up to 72 volts of direct current power. And I knew I wanted to stay with the shaft drive, uh, but the problem was the spline on the motor did not match up with the spline on the four-wheeler. So I needed some sort of adapter. My original plan was to get an adapter like this one, uh, and I searched and searched and searched the web and could not find one anywhere. Nobody's made one. If they have, nobody's um, put it out there to find it. Uh, I'm going with plan B. Plan B was to take uh, the shaft piece, the existing shaft piece that went to the motor, uh, which was a melan, but the splines didn't match up, and then take the gear, the spline gear, or the chain drive gear from the Screw it, let me just tell you, let me just try. Prior to placing the old motor adapter onto my chain sprocket and the gear drive on the motor, I had placed the metal shims within it, made sure it was completely center on that metal sprocket that I'm now welding together. The reason I did that is because you want minimal wobble as this spins, I don't want any at all. So I had to make sure it was good and center, and then once it was, held it in place, put some spot welds, uh, then removed it from the motor and did a complete weld job. All right, so here's the motor, and it has this spline drive. You can see it's got six, seven splines, whatever it is. Um, and I need that to fit around this spline for the shaft drive on the four-wheeler. Since I couldn't get this piece made, which would put my motor back here and I'd have an easier place to, to mount it, um, it's going to suck it in here a little bit more. What I did is I took the chain sprocket that fits on the motor, like so, just gotta line it up, fits on there and spins. Now I have my adapter that fits over the spline and then I just have the motor. So ultimately I did not wanna go with a weld because I was afraid that the weld wasn't good enough. And as you can see, I did a horrible job welding. I know, all you welders out there are probably like, I could do it 10 times better. You probably can, because I'm not very good. But I'm learning, I'm having a fun time, just tinkering and doing my thing. So now that I have my adapter made, I need to figure out exact motor placement, and get the motor in place. So that's what we're gonna work on. Hopefully we can get this motor mounted in there, ready to go. Uh, come along for the ride, let's see what we can do.
top motor mount uh, right here. The motor the motor sits here as you've seen and then drives into the sprocket for the rear drive. Uh, I'll be putting another motor mount down here. I had to notch this part of the frame out um, as part of the motor would hit up against it and I needed it over more. Uh, so I am going to weld that and close it off. And then I got to figure out the bottom motor mount. Um, and then I'll do some testing to see if two mounts is good or if I need three. Uh, so that's it for today. I've been out here for a while, just having a good time, learning how to weld, trying to figure out how to put things in here and get this motor on here. If you don't think the motor is going to work with the direct shaft drive, let me know. I'm curious to get other ideas out there or other thoughts on the matter. If you think it's going to work, also let me know. If you have questions about what I'm doing or have suggestions on what I should do, let me know. I'm all ears. Uh, this is new to me. Just a fun little project. I hope it works. Hope I have a good time uh, doing it. Anyways, thanks for watching. Tune in or keep subscribe and keep watching this uh, adventure unfold. I don't know how it's going to unfold. I just hope it works when I'm done. If not, then I'll figure something out. But have a good one, guys.